Hi, uh, John Clements here. I've been charged with getting you a little IFTA crop update. Today is Friday, December 2nd, 2022. And I'm at the UMass Orchard in Belchertown. Uh, you can see it's a pretty nice day. No snow on the ground yet. And we haven't had any snow on the ground yet. Uh, regarding the crop update, uh, not much news really. I mean, uh, obviously the pick your own crop is 100% sold. Uh, the wholesale crop is probably 50 to 75% sold. Uh, demand for apples has been strong. Uh, freight from the West Coast is pretty high, so we're pretty competitive this year. Uh, at least that's what I hear from the growers. So quality was really good. The crop was a little bit uh, below average. Um, but the growers I've talked with are generally quite happy to, happy with both the apple crop uh, and the marketing situation in 2022. Uh, trees are starting to lose their foliage, so they're going into hibernation, dormancy, pretty good shape uh, before the real winter, winter weather sets in. Um, enough with the crop report. I, I did want to tell you... <laughs> Uh, something different though. Um, a week and a half ago, I got back from Italy with the IFTA uh, International Study Tour to Italy. It was quite a trip. Um, thanks to Jeff Cleverenga and uh, Greg Lang and the uh, Onward Travel crew for uh, putting that all together. I think we all had a good time. There was about 150 of us, uh, probably 100 uh, growers and, and 50 companions. Um, a good mix of uh, orchard stops and uh, sightseeing and, and, and leisurely uh, type stuff. Interpoma was very interesting. Ima, the big agricultural trade show, not so much for me, but certainly uh, Interpoma, as usual, was always very interesting. And uh, this is the fourth time I've been to Italy. Um, you know, so nothing terribly new and exciting, just a lot of tall spindle orchard. Um, a lot of uh, uh, pink lady plantings that I hadn't seen before, uh, mostly all covered with hail net. As you know, there's a big problem there. There was two theme themes that struck out to me though in Italy. Um, first of all was um, the whole sustainable, smart orchard, sensor equipped orchard type thing. We saw several uh, research related orchards to that. So that seems to be a hot topic amongst the researchers. And then also just multi-liter apple trees and uh, some peach trees too. You know, again, traveling around uh, uh, this multi-liter concept uh, for various reasons seems to be quite uh, popular and in fashion now. So, you know, whether it's bee bomb or, or three liters, however you get there, or the, uh, they call it the Goyette, Goyette over there, or the UFO style apple tree. Um, saw quite a bit of that. That was kind of my take home on those two things. Also, um, you know, Europe is probably about 10 years ahead of us in terms of the sustainable type issues. Um, their pesticides are more limited than ours. So that was kind of another theme that I saw. A lot a lot of interest too in, in new varieties, uh, particularly scab resistant ones over there because of that sustainable. But quickly, because of the multi-liter thing, I wanted to show you a little project I planted here at the UMass Orchard in Belchertown this year. Um, I got three different treatments, uh, kind of three different liter spacings. And I'm gonna show you those real quick. And here we go. Uh, this is, uh, these are all Crimson Crisp, a scab resistant variety on Geneva 11 rootstock. They were very small trees from Waffler Nursery, but uh, my three treatments are, these are, the trees are planted about 18 inches, a foot and a half apart. And I'm trying to do a pedestrian orchard here, not letting these go much higher than I can pick by hand. Then I took some trees and I headed them off low at about knee height and I'm working those into a, uh, a double liter uh, bee bomb style tree uh, with two liters. Again, spaced about 18 inches apart. And although I swore I'd never do it, my foray into the UFO style or as they call it over there in Italy or Europe, Gaet, Gaet style with, um, again, maybe these leaders are spaced a little bit closer, um, but trying to shoot for about 18 inches apart. But as you can see, the tree spacing uh, varies quite a bit on these three different treatments. So uh, the New England Tree Fruit Research Committee bought me these trees and uh, I thank them for that. So I just kind of wanted to show you that. 
and uh, quit that and I'll say goodbye and uh, hope to see you in Grand Rapids in February at the annual conference. Uh, if not, have a good winter, but uh, again, hope to see you there. Take care. Bye.